Hey, what's up you guys? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how you can render a lot faster than I'm um, just using your hardware at home. So um, right here we have this little tank rotation animation. It's just on a little turntable that I quickly made just to kind of test out some photorealism. Um, so as I want to render this, so we'll just go ahead and hit render animation. It takes a long time. I mean, this is even this computer has the new Ryzen 1950X in it, the 16 cores, so it'll render with all 32 threads, but even then it still takes upwards of 30 hours just to render this little 240 frame animation. So you can see it's just cranking away. Um, it, it takes a long time, so we're just gonna hit cancel. Um, we'll go back into the 3D view. So we don't have 34 hours to render this, right? Um, you know, that's just, that's a long time, that's a day and a half. So we're just gonna go to this new thing that I learned called Sheepit, Sheepit Render Farm. So we can, you can just go here, it's just sheepit-renderfarm.com. Um, I, I learned about this as I was rendering this, so I was already probably in about 15 hours into the render on this little animation, and I was like, this is taking so long, why, why am I, there's got to be a better way, and I found this uh, website through some different sources. It's a free render farm, um, so it's user-based, so, so let me go right here to my account. Um, so that animation I just did right here um, it only took 11 hours and 8 minutes and you can see different users um, go through and render each different part so you can see that that one was rendered with the GTX 1080 Ti from one user same user same user this one's a GTX 760 um, you can see it took 35 minutes per frame for that one 10 minutes for that so this is a user based website um, meaning that like you you need to do your part as well you can see that that little animation I did put me in the negatives I started out with about 35,000 points so it took almost 70,000 points to render that um, the points don't really do anything for you other than give you priority in this um, in the projects panel so I mean it's still good to be rendering you know just in your off time so you can see right there it was finished there's all these different different things rendering so you can go here you can go home you just go and you can make a brand new account um, it's free you don't have to pay anything they only ask that you render a couple things which I'll go ahead and show you guys how it works um, let's see sheep it so we would just open up the download so I mean it'll it'll walk you guys all through this but so people, a bunch of different people that actually use Blender a lot, they can download this program and then um, they can go in the settings and either choose to use a graphics card. So I have the 1070. So as I was actually rendering this animation, I was using my processor because it's a little better than my graphics card. So I set the graphics card to be rendering for Sheepit. So I was building up points as I was still rendering and, you know, doing my work and stuff. Um, you can just change all the settings there, you hit save, and then it'll go through and um, first it'll test your system. Um, we'll let exit after this frame because it does take quite a bit of, um, of processing power, but I mean if you aren't ever using it for anything, you can, you can just uh, render stuff on the side and build up points. So anyways, um, so if we wanted to do a new project, we would just go add our project. Um, so in the Blender, you would want to go through, save this as like the file. So this one's named as Panzer 3 Blend, so we'll name it as Panzer 3 3 Blend, just to make sure we don't have any duplicates. And then you do want to make sure that you export the data, so automatically pack it into Blend. Um, and then you just take that go to the website and you choose the file wherever you saved it at so it was so the one I used was the Panzer 3 sheep it so I just hit open 
and then you send this file. I'm not going to do it where I already had it rendered. Um, you can put in the estimator so the other users, they can see how long per frame it might take and stuff. And I mean, the, uh, the program on your computer will just kind of do things randomly or just depending on the projects, like status, if it's more um, important than others, your computer will start rendering frames for that animation. So you can see some people have like 10,000 frames, you know. There was one I saw that I was rendering that was like part of a 40,000 frame animation. I think it's actually done now. But yeah, if you guys need a quick way, so again, you could see that um, that, that little animation, just open the Premiere file. This little animation took, on my computer rendering it alone would have taken like 34, 35 hours, I believe. And then if you go on to the, um, the sheep at time took only like 11 hours and 8 minutes. And it was actually faster. The sheep it rendered it all, like, completely. So I, I learned about sheep it. I downloaded it, started working with sheep it. All while I was rendering it on my computer. And then by the time that sheep it was done, my computer was s still rendering this. It was like 20 hours later, and the animation through Sheep It was already done, and it still wasn't completed on my computer. So, it saves you guys a lot of time. Just make sure to um, to give some stuff back, uh, render for other users as well. It'll really help you. But yeah, when when you guys actually have an animation that you need done, this this website, this uh, user base is really good. For rendering things fast. So anyways, thanks for watching. Just thought I'd show you guys a quick trick. Thanks.